y'all. How you doing today? This is Todd from We Put Yourself. Well, we're back on the sawmill again today. It's just breaking daylight. Got to run, run over there and went fed the animals. Jerry's over there milking butterfly. And I got some orders to fill. I am cutting some 1x14s. It's a special order. He needed them a little wider than 1x12s. These are 16 foot long, regular old pine. And guys, this is some pretty lumber again. Let me show you some of this stuff. There's seven boards right there. And I just cut the eighth one right there. It needed 120 feet of 14 inch boards. Let's see if I can flip this and show y'all with this camera in my hand. Uh, look at that boards, how pretty they are. Little wood miser's doing good, cutting some pretty lumber. Guys, where these knots are, you see how there's some real big knots right here, side by side? When you get to them knots, you really gotta slow down because that, that mill's gonna wanna, it's gonna dip and dive on you a little bit on them hard knots. So you just slow down and come on through it and it, it come out fine. The first one I was pushing it a little bit too fast, put a little dip in it, but I just took it out on the next cut. But guys, I got these logs over here. I got a man called me last night and needs some two by fours, eight foot. So I'm fixing to start cutting his order. Get them all sawed up and get them ready for him. Let's see what we can get done. I'll bring y'all along with me. Alright guys, we got a 12 inch log. That means I need to take, I don't know, a couple inches off right here. Can't forget my uh, clamps in the back. These clamps in the back right here are at 12 inches. Or about 10 and a half inches. So I gotta cut a little bit above that to make sure I can make that first cut or pull these arms down a little bit. All right, guys, I had to turn all the fans off. I'm fixing to kick them on. Start cutting this log. Okay, it's 820 in Louisiana right now, and I bet you it's close to 90 degrees already. It is hot, y'all. The humidity's terrible right now. But I'm fixing to cutting this log. Try to get a few two befores out of it. Let's see what we can get.
several different people that cut different ways on these sawmills. I cut my stuff down to scale. So my my two by fours are the same size as what you buy in the in the lumber yard. You know, once they dry, they they're pretty close. That's without planing them or nothing. If you need to plane them and cut them down some more, you need to oversize them. But I cut every down everything down to scale because most of the stuff that we're using this lumber for is building barns, building sheds, different stuff like that. And you can leave them full, but them darn things are so heavy. It's I like them a little bit better cut down. But guys, I. I'm gonna turn this around and show you what I'm doing right here. All right, this log's been cut twice. Okay, I'm usually on my second cut. I don't have no bark on there. Now this one's got bark on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this my third cut. This third cut right here, in other words, I'm gonna flip it one more time to get my two by fours out. Now on this scale, these sixes right here, I don't know if you can see the sixes. This six right here, there's a little line above it. Between here and here is your inch and a half boards. That gets your boards that are laying down are an inch and a half thick. So I'm making this, it's actually the third side of this log, I'm gonna cut on the sixes. I get my height where I want, which is about right there. I come to my scale, I'm gonna go down to right there. This is the six. That is where my saw blade is cutting in this center line. Now when I got the sawmill, it was set for here. I like it on the thin one in the center. I'm locked down right there. Now, well, after I make my next cut, I'm gonna be on my three and a half, three and a half, seven and a quarter. Then that way my, my two by fours are the right height. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got them marked on my sawmill so I know exactly where they're at. So let's make this cut. the side. I'm going to drop down another inch and a half. Looking at my scale, which is right there. Right there is the six mark. I'm going to take another inch and a half off. That way I got a square side to work with. You always got to get down to that square side to where you have something to work with. Then once I cut this, I'll throw that board on the side. I'll be able to get two by four out of center of that board. I'll roll the log and then I'll cut on my three and a half. All right, that's where I would be cutting at 11 and one eighth. Between 11 inches and 11 and one eighth will be your three two by fours or two two by sixes. So I can't get that cut. I gotta cut all the way down to there to get my two two by fours. So that means I've gotta come up an inch and a half from right there and slab down to seven and a quarter so I can get the two two by fours. All right guys, I'm at eight and seven eighths. That's where I'll be cutting at. And you look underneath it, you can see where there's gonna be an inch and a half board wide. And then underneath, see I'm going to cut right here. It's going to be a 2x4 or 2x6 I can take out here. And then I'm going to come back right here and cut on 3.5. So these will be 2x4s here and here. Cutting down the scale. Three and a half there, three and a half there, inch and a half there.
guys I got it all cut what I ended up getting out of that log was 12 2 by 4s two of them are culls besides that they're actually 14 all together but two of them are culls and I throw them in a separate pile so I got 12 good 2 by 4s 8 foot That's what I got for slabs over there. Now I could have got some one befores out of them slabs, really, you know, got more out of my log, but for the time that it's gonna take me to cut them out of there and the wear and tear on the blades, I just let them go. I, I'm gonna look after two by fours right now, not one befores. And this is another order right here that I just filled. That is some one by fourteens. Sixteen foot long, and guys, I know a lot of people wonder what what we sell this lumber for. It all depends on what it is and where you're at. There's a lot of different things to go into this. Them one by twelves right there, or one by 14, 16 foot long, is a dollar twenty a board foot. Now the two by fours, I sell the eight foot two by fours for two dollars and fifty cents a piece. Kind of give you an idea of what we charge here in Louisiana. Now every SAR will they'll charge a different price. Uh oh, so this is bad in here. Sweat. Well guys, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Share it out. Uh if you talk to different people, millers that mill stuff, everybody's gonna cut different. Everybody's gonna cut on a different scale. This is the way I cut. You ask 10 different people that's been doing this a while, how they cut, probably six or seven of them is gonna have a different answer, gonna give you a different answer. But guys, this is the way I cut it. God bless, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.